everybody welcome back to another video I decided to, I wanted to redo my spig eye or I guess I call it bucket then bucket plug-in tutorials uh, I'm just going to redo them I'm gonna just start from when you already have Eclipse installed if you don't have Eclipse installed or you don't have a test Minecraft server I plan to make another video of that soon but until then um, you can use the old first episode of the outdated one to get to where I am now I'm using Eclipse Neon right now and yeah you can use any program you want to do this I just use Eclipse although you can use any development program that supports Java uh, you can even do this in Notepad++ if you want but I, you probably shouldn't it's easier to do it in a program like Eclipse now I already have one open as you can probably see from down here that is my main Java one but First, I'm just going to create a new photo for us to put all of our new projects in. I'm just going to call it Spigot uh, Tutorial. I'm sorry if you can hear my keyboard, it's really mechanical. It has a, it has a mechanical sound to it. So, it's, yeah, it's going to be hard to block out the keyboard sound. But in here, I think we're good. So then we just open up Eclipse. And let's go get. It's another desktop. Here it is. Okay. And okay. I could have had Eclipse make a photo for us, but. Might as well make us own. And here we are on Eclipse. Um. You have a bunch of this stuff right here. It's 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 cool and all. I already have you. You should already have Java and everything installed. I'll you know, like I said, we're just starting here. Let me just configure this the way I want it. And let's put that down. There we go. You're hardly gonna ever use it. Well, I hardly ever use this over here. So I'm just gonna go. Just a little bit over here. Over here. Hopefully you guys can see this. Um, this text is not. I hope this text will be big enough for you guys to see. If if, if it turns out be not big enough, I'll just go ahead and put the tutorial up on GitHub. That way you guys can see it. But let's go ahead and get started here. First, we're gonna have to create a new uh, project. First of all, we don't have a project, so new. Java project and let's call that this tutorial. Uh, you can uh, jo I, you can use Java uh, eight. I I recommend using Java eight or Java seven. I use Java seven for whenever I post mine to uh, the Spigot page, or I guess they call it Spigot, but I call it Spigot. It's just how I like to pronounce it. Yes, I should start saying spigot though. But yeah, whenever I take and put something on spigot, then I would use the 1.7. It says 1.7, but the Java 7 version. And yeah, everything seems fine. Just finish. Alright, there we go. Yay! We have our first. Java project. But now we can make Java. What was that in the corner? Dang it, I missed it. I wasn't paying attention. Something came up in the corner. I'm going to have to re watch the video and see what that is. I think it said something error. I don't know. But yeah, we have the Java libraries, but we don't have the Spigot or Spigot libraries. It's going to take me a little bit to get used to that. So let's go ahead and get the spigot libraries. So to do that, we just have to go through, do build path, uh, configure build path, projects, no source. I you know it's libraries. I, think. I don't know why I said I was just looking. 
I looked at projects. It's actually libraries. And external jars. Hmm. What a weird place to be. Uh, let's go to desktop. And I have mine on the bucket. And I have a bunch of my random development stuff here. Um, I'm just going to use 1.11.2. And let's go ahead and use that. And it should be good. Now we can start developing. So the first thing I am going to do is create a new package. So new package com. So in Java you use com dot your name and you can leave it like that. And I usually do dot project. So tutorial. Yeah. Or you can use me, to, but I'm just gonna use com. It's supposed to represent represent your domain name, but tutorial. I don't want really to do that. Um, finish. All right. So now I'm going to create a new Java class under here. And you can call it main. I mean, if it's if your plugin has a kind of weird name, then I would just use main. It'd make it a lot easier. But if it's pretty straightforward, like tutorial, then just go ahead and name it tutorial. Uh, that should be good. So finish. Now we have a first Java. Oh my gosh, this is really small text. Um. Huh. You guys see that well? You probably cannot. Maybe I'll be nice and zoom it in for you when working on this. <laughs> Maybe. I I I'm gonna I'm gonna go through and change it later. This is normally how I I like small text though. First thing we do is extend Java plugin. So extend extends Java. Java plugin, not Javi. Javi would be nice. And then you want to go ahead and import that from the bucket. And yeah, there we go. It's complete. Now you need um. What happens if I hover over this? Not much. At over wide public void uh, on enable. And I'm gonna go ahead and do. No, 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 no. And then at override public void on disable. I. Now let me explain to you what these do. So this is fired whenever the plugin is enabled, and then this is fired whenever a plugin is disable disabling. There is an onload, but I don't really use it often. If you ever have a, a need to use the onload, it's like onload with the override over it, of course. And then that would allow you to do stuff, but I don't find that very useful very often. Of course, I don't, I mainly make utility plugins, so I normally don't have a need for it, unlike somebody who may want to make a mini game off of it which I don't really do um yeah well now you basically have a plugin um what do I want to do with this alright so I'm just going to do this so let's see here public uh tutorial and let's call this just plugin. Actually, let's have this pub public static. I want. It. I'm gonna go ahead and have it be a static tutorial. There we go. So public static tutorial plugin. I have it static. That way, if I want to uh, use plugin, 
in a class that does not implement if I wanted to use plugin in a class that does not uh, that I do not want to put plugin in the constructor or tutorial plugin I would put it here it, it just makes it a lot easier I find so that's how I'm just going to be doing things so let's see here let's go ahead and grab the logo and do things with it so let's do git logo dot um info um no I didn't mean to do that whoops let's redo that dot info I meant you there we go um the plugin has been enabled I'll just say that and you can get a well uh, no I'll explain that later once we make a plugin dot YML and then let's just go ahead and get uh, <laughs> logo info plugin I was thinking of plugging that YML. Um, the plugin has been disabled. The plugin has been disabled. There we go. Yay, it's been disabled. Uh, how long have we been? 11 minutes. Okay. I felt comfort. I feel pretty okay leaving it then. 11 minutes? Man, I must have been rambling for such a long time. I'm going to add timestamps. That way you don't have to listen to me ramble. Uh, then you have also get logo dot warning. This is a warning. So let me explain what these do. What this one does here, get logo dot info. This, allow this allows you to send a message to the console. And it's like, okay, everything's okay. Just telling people in the console and then you have the warning here which sends a warning in the console and yeah let me go ahead and set up it for net let me go ahead and set up some things for the next tutorial so for example plug plugin not plugin what am I thinking public okay public void no not yeah public void and let's go into red just now I'm gonna do it load method and we'll go ahead and put a load method right here too and then we'll use this for loading any uh, use this for loading any kind of any command or listeners we have, we will put it in there. Okay, and, and then we're gonna go ahead and do public void uh, register now load config, and then what this would do is just load the config, and I'll add this in the next episode so i hope you guys enjoyed this um this is how to make a basic one if you wanted to export it and test it out you can um i'm not going to export this and show you what it does if you want to see what it does check out the old one where i actually exported it and did it i'll export it when i create a command and listen all but this is creating a java minecraft plugin hope you enjoyed I'll see you guys later, and bye-bye.